Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to insert your AdSense code into the header of your WordPress website without a plugin. This tutorial is specifically for people who use the Generate Press theme, which, by the way, it's the ultimate theme in my eyes between how much power you get, and you'll see that in this video, as well as the fact that it's like one of the fastest WordPress themes out there. Very, very lightweight, all that stuff. So. Um, Enough of that out of the side. Let's get on into the tutorial to show you guys how to do this. Okay, so I have my website here, tonyflorida.com. Right now, I'm not running any ads on my website, nothing on the homepage, and nothing in any of these blog posts. So, what we want to do is use Generate Press to um, insert the code for your AdSense account into the header of this website. Um, we're not going to use a plugin, we're just going to use the theme itself, and we can do that with something called hooks. Okay, so, but first, let's, I, I just want to prove to you that there's no ads running. So let's just look at the page source here, and there's something called ads by google.javascript that should be in the header, and we're just going to search to see if that's in this page, and it's not in the home page, so we know it's not there. And then let's just pick this blog post here, we'll do the same thing, search for ads by google.javascript, that's not there either. Okay. So we got that out of the way. Let's go ahead and get our code. So I have that um, in the background here. Here's my AdSense account. And if I go to ads and then my website, tonyflorida.com, it's gonna take a, you know, 10, 15 seconds to load here. But then you'll see something up here about um, your code, get code, something along those lines. And while that's loading, the cool thing about doing it with generate press versus another plugin is that you don't have to add your page exclusions at this level. You can pick where you want to exclude certain pages if that's even something you want to do within the WordPress theme generated press. So I'm just going to actually get rid of all these exclusions right here because I don't need them. I want to do this um, within the theme itself. So I'm going to remove all of these. This was in here from before. Um, and that looks good. So uh, here, like I was saying, get code, we can get that code. And as you can see, the ads by google.javascript um, script that we wanna include in the header. So we're gonna copy this code snippet and hit done. We'll apply it to our site just to make sure we're not excluding any pages anymore. And then we'll go back over into our WordPress uh, dashboard. We can go here slash WP dash dashboard to log in. And here is our WordPress admin dashboard. So like I was saying, we have to add hooks through our WordPress theme, generate press. And we can do that under appearance and elements. And under here, you wanna add a new element of type hook. So we're gonna create that. And in here, it's you have many different types of hooks. And actually by default, the one we want is already selected for us. We want WP head, which is gonna insert whatever we put up top here into the header. So um, make sure that one's selected and we'll give it a name. We'll just say uh, Google, Google AdSense, call it whatever you want. And then t uh, paste in that script, that code that you just copied, the snippet with ads by google.javascript. So um, that looks good. Uh, and I don't think there's anything else we have to change on this page. So let's go to display rules. And this is where we're able to say where we want this to show up in our blog or our website. So you can have this show up on every single page. Um, you can do click entire site. But for me, I only want it to show up in blog posts. So I'm gonna look for posts. And what's really cool is you can have it show up on specific posts, not even all posts, but I'm gonna pick all posts in this case. Okay, so I'm gonna publish that, save my changes, and they, they take effect instantly. So now if we go back, and I'm hoping that there's not gonna be any caching issues, but if we go back to tonyflorida.com, we should still not see any um, references to ads on the homepage. So let's look for ads by google.javascript here, and we don't see any of those. So that's a good thing. Let's go pick a blog post here, the same one as before, and let's look for ads. Let's do the page source first. Let's look for ads by Google, and we do see it now. So we know it's working. Let's see if we got an ad on our page, and we do. Here, Here's an ad right here. Um, that was not there before. Another ad right here. Um, yep, 
so that's that's doing exactly what we wanted to do. I don't know why I clicked on that, but um, there's another ad. So very powerful. You can do a lot of cool things with generate press hooks. Um, I'll have a couple more videos about this as far as what you can do with generate press hooks. I think uh, I'll do one on the author box. If you want an author box like this down below, and if you want uh, an affiliate disclosure like this up top. So I'll have separate videos about those two over here if you're interested. Thank you guys for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe for more from me in the future. And if you do, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.